In today's lunch break, how to make delicious harvest pork. Ying Stoller has been teaching Asian cooking for the last decade. Currently, she's teaching at the College of Lake County and the Kenosha, Kenosha Public Museum. I know you're a cookbook author. I have this cookbook at home. I make the meals from it. It's Good. terrific, easy to follow, and really wonderful flavors. Thank you. Which one have you tried? Just curious. Oh my goodness, I couldn't eat A whole eat. bunch of them? The, yeah, uh -huh. I mean, there's been a, there's been a couple good. of them, yes. I'm proud of them. And the you. kids yeah. love them, which is, which is the key. Very good. Here's what I love. You always put an added little flavor in there that I might not think of. And like mm -hmm. today, you brought the star anise, which I think is yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Star anise, we also use a um, cinnamon stick. You know, so this is a different, you know, this is a fall and the stew is perfect. And I'm also using some of the, uh, you know, like uh, kabacha. Um, pump, uh, it's like a pumpkin. So it's and kabacha. It's, so yeah. it's, it's not like buying a pumpkin, but although it looks very much like right. one. And the inside, look at this. It's kind of you know orange with seeds, almost like a pumpkin. You right. Know? But you said the flavor is it's better. It's sweeter and creamier. Okay. It's very good for if you want to. So make we a need soup. to go to the Asian market to get that generally. Some of the gr regular grocery stores start carrying them too. Okay. So you you might be able to you know just look for them. You might be able to find them. Um, but if not, go to Asian grocery store. All right. And they are very good. And also, a lot of people didn't realize Asian cooking, we do use potatoes, you know, pumpkins. And, right, and you always squash. think of rice. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. but you're going to use it. Okay. So today, I want to make something different, you know. So we're going to add a little bit of oil to the pan. And also, I'm going to use pork. I'm in the cooler, so we're going to just, I've already cut them into small bite size. Mm -hmm. We're just going to brown it. So if you want to stir, sure. Okay. We'll just let it uh, set for a little bit, so brown. And then we're going to add a little bit uh, soy sauce to just add a little color. Mm-hmm. Very good. And then we're going to add just a couple slices of ginger and chopped white onion, I mean green onions, the white part. So we're going to add that in. And this dish is very simple, you know, and then just really give you different uh, flavors too, so people should try it. And then we're gonna just uh, um, add a little bit um, one stick, cinnamon stick, and a star anise. Just add some really nice flavor to it. We're gonna you also use so just two of the star yes. anise because that has kind of a strong licorice. Strong, yes, mm -hmm. and if you put too many, just uh, too strong. So two will be good. Okay. And then we're gonna add uh, some rock sugar. This is just a uh, rock sugar. And you yeah. use rock sugar, why? Because it's, this is um, not as processed as the, you know, refined sugar. Oh. And it's really good, give us just a nice flavor to it. And we're gonna, after we're doing that, we just uh, yeah, do a very good job. You know, we don't have that much time, but otherwise I would just wait a little bit. Right. And give a little bit more brown, and then we're gonna add some just water. It's a very simple dish. And then we're gonna just uh, cover, let it cook. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add potatoes. I cut up the po red potatoes and um, the pumpkin. And the, you leave uh, the skin kabacha. right on there. Yeah, you know, in my recipe, I did say you can uh, peel them. Mm -hmm. I like to keep the, the skin on, you know, because there also there's vitamins and stuff. And uh, some people don't like it because it's just a little bit, you know. Uh, little it's tough. tough. Yeah, a little bit, not mm -hmm. much. And then, um, but I like to keep it and also, Beautiful color, you know. Right. So we can have all these vegetables and just add it into the pan, and we're just gonna let it simmer. First, we'll let the pork simmer for about 20 minutes. Then we we'll add vegetables and then simmer another 15 to 20 minutes until everything is cooked. And you can eat over rice. It's just delicious. I love it. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, what wonderful flavors all coming mm -hmm. together here. Oh, and there we go. You've yes, got that finished. finished. I wondered product. if you brought the finished product for yes. us so we can mm -hmm. kind of see the, the colors and everything with I that. I also brought the candied um, potatoes. I mean, not potatoes, candied uh, apples because of apple season. So oh. you can do uh, candied apple, apples. Yeah. I just uh, lightly coated and deep fried it and then I coat it with caramelized sugar oh, and I'll have that. a sudden topped with some black sesame seeds. What it's great delicious. fall flavors mm -hmm. there and then and that's a little... pan um, you heard of bao? No. Oh bao is a steamed uh, bread oh. so stuffed with the different meat and vegetables and then so I pan fried it. Oh wow look mm -hmm. at that. It's, uh, 
simple. It's a, like, you know, snack on for lunch. It's perfect. You have your bread, you have your meat, you know, vegetables, right. everything. Yes, yeah. in one. This yeah. is such a great family recipe. It's really terrific. And I know your cookbook is available on your website, yes. which is yingskitchen.com. And then, of course, we could link people up from our website, and then you can have this specific recipe if you want to try this one first at wgntv.com slash midday. Thanks for coming back, well, Ying. Thank Love you. to have you in. Thank you.